This is Rebecca Moore at the Overlake School Library. Today I'm book talking Prairie Lotus by Linda Sue Park. Anyone ever read Little House on the Prairie or see the old TV show? If you liked it or other pioneer stories, then you'll probably like this one as well. It starts in 1880 in Dakota Territory. Hannah, whose mother is Chinese, is traveling in a covered wagon with her white father. They reach a new town just being built and her father sets about building a dry goods shop. Anyone know dr what dry goods are? They're cloth. Hannah's mother was an expert dressmaker in California, uh, in San Francisco, and Hannah hopes to do the same. But she's only 14, so her father doesn't trust her yet to make dresses for customers. Hannah also really, really wants to go to school for the first time. Her mother taught her to read, and Hannah's been teaching herself since her mother died, but she really wants to attend an actual school. Why do you think that that might be a problem for her? Well, here's what happens when Hannah takes her bonnet off at the town's one-room school and the kids see her face for the first time. Margaret drew back a step. Edith stayed where she was. Bess turned toward Hannah, the smallest of movements, so subtle that Hannah thought she might have imagined it. And Dolly? Dolly's mouth and eyes were perfect circles of astonishment. Plainly, it hadn't even occurred to her to try to disguise her surprise. She might be more honest than the others, Hannah thought, or not as well brought up. After lunch, three students don't come back to school. The next day, more than six are absent. The school board debates whether Hannah has a right to attend school. It's really hard to be Asian on the frontier, but Hannah is determined to have the life she wants. Prairie Lotus by Linda Sue Park.